to give you a sense of our focus and, and, and what we're looking at, this hasn't really changed that much on you know, how do we get from where we are today to, to our target. Focusing on the development pipeline, you know, doing the logistics developments with our in-house team as we have been doing Touchwood as we sit here today. I think apart from a 5,000 square meter piece in Poland, we've let every logistics development we've built on spec. Um, so I think you know that does does give us a lot of uh, a lot of um, certainty in in what we're doing and the product we're delivering to the market. I think what has changed, just in terms of where we are now, you know. To get a park going, and most of our parks are currently going, you need to do some spec developments. Now that the parks are up and running, focusing really on pre-let developments, which are inherently lower risk, sometimes lower return, but I think you know allows us then just to fill up those last few pockets of the park. Um, retail, retail expanding and enhancing our best assets, that's something that we have done. We so we'll touch on, on that in a bit more detail. The asset recycling is, is really important to us, and I think it's maintaining that discipline of, of selling assets and uh, making sure we recycle that into, into, the, the, uh, into the development pipeline as well as enhancing the retail. Um, I think we've done that very, very well. The one aspect of our portfolio that uh, is now getting very small, it's probably about 3% of our assets is, is the office portfolio. It's been underperforming for a while and also we are subscale in that market. So we need to accelerate that, uh, that disposal. Um, and I think just where our office values are per square meter, there are a couple of opportunities there to, to sell them to owner occupiers or to sell them to uh, residential conversion specialists. You know, just on the opportunity slide on the right hand side, I think, you know, just 12 months ago, we, we saw the, the collapse of Credit Suisse and we saw a regional banking crisis with Silicon Valley Bank in the US. So, you know, what we're seeing a lot of is I think everything slowed down last year. Interest rates are at generational highs, massive capital constraints, banks are running scared, particularly in Europe, and that does create a lot more opportunities for people with, with capital. So, we are seeing that. And um, our associate, Nepi Rockcastle, is also seeing quite a few good opportunities that uh, perhaps three, four years ago weren't, weren't coming to market. Um, I think our single share structure allows us to, to unlock value for shareholders in a, in a better way, possibly to raise capital more easily, and certainly leads us to be less distracted and more focused on the business. Um, our Fundamental business has got healthy demand, both logistics here and, uh, and in CE. And those CE markets more generally, in which 40% of our assets are placed, are still very, very strong performers, I think, in particular compared to um, other parts of the, the Western world. <laughs>